Hello guys, welcome back to another installment of the Trailblazer series. On the last episode, I unlocked our best overall range special attack weapon, and that is the Dark Bow. I can dish out some serious DPS in a short period of time with a special attack, and yeah, it's really good. Now, today's episode is actually going to be focusing on getting ourselves a new set of equipment that will pair along very nicely with our crystal armor. And it's going to boost our DPS game overall, especially with the dart bow, especially with like blowpipe to the next level. And a lot of you guys are probably going to think it's armadillo, but it's actually not. It's actually void range. I'll explain the nuances and the difference, of course, as the prize video unfolds. I have to say, appreciate the support though in the series because uh, it's been pretty damn successful. As always, continue liking the video if you want more progress because I got so much more progress to do in this league. Whether it's the PVM progress or whether it's going for Dragon Rank, there's lots to be told. Yo, damn, these pest control games are actually uh, super active, even at nighttime. Nice. I'm just gonna do half AFK. Working some videos while I do this shit. It's gonna be easy peasy. Yeah, man, it's actually uh, decently crowded. If you guys need to get Void, definitely consider it because it's actually better than God Wars for DPS. Yeah, the boats are pretty packing at World 402. So, yeah, man, worth it. Consider it. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Ooh, we just got 120 combat. That's another task. I was at 119.975 though before this level. <laughs> Damn, there's a guy with a max cape. Who is that? Master Byro? Jesus Christ. Dude's max cape at pest control. <laughs> uh, what a savage. Alright, that's one easy game done. Nice. Alright, so we've been working on the void. Trying to get void melee and range. And we've actually got enough now to buy void range. Just need a little more for Void Melee. Just 200 more points. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get ourselves Void Range real quick. Take it easy though, don't want to mess this up. Uh, void Top. Yes, and Void Bottoms. Void Bottoms. There we go. Nice, there we go. We got the Void Range now. And that's another task. So yeah, this is actually best in slot range uh, gear. It's actually way stronger than armor in this league. 45-44 unpotted, guys. That was amazing. Now we're also going to get ourselves the final void piece. I'm not going to get Mage Helm because Mage is kind of dead content for my builds. So let's go grab this. And uh, it's fair to say we're basically going to retire the Obsidian now because... Now we have uh, Void Melee for our melee gear because it's going to be actually stronger than Obsidian. Void Melee gives 10% uh, extra damage and accuracy. Also, before someone says, why not unlock the elites? So you need both Elf City and Kandarin, and I don't have Kandarin. Okay, let's do some testing with the Debo. Let me just show you how much of a difference it would be if I didn't have Void. So... Here we go. Crystal armor does not do anything to the max hits of the Debo. 46, 46. Now we bring the Void. All right, now we should be hitting, I, I think, cap of 48, 48. Now it should hit higher probably, but it caps at 40, 48. That's just the nature of the Debo. However, it still increases my chance to reach the max hit higher more often. So I'll hit 40, 48 slightly more often. So that's really nice. We're going to be, uh, yeah, just sh shrekking TOB with this. And of course, same with the blowpipe as well. Uh, blowpipe max hits going to go up as well. What, what we get here? Blowpipe 30 with rune darts. We're going to go with range, void, and we get 32. So, yeah, it's a nice two max hits overall. Very nice. So I'll prove to you why crystal bow and armor is still better though. Because the set effect makes the crystal bow hit 37, and I think it'll hit less. Oh, it's about the same, actually. Okay, I thought it would actually lose about a max hit, but I guess the 5% difference isn't enough. Maybe if my range stats went down. But yeah, Crystal Armor also gives me 30% more accuracy, so overall, Crystal Armor is still better with the bow. We're about to do some TOB. Gonna go hard with it, though. 
Yeah, man, our setup has changed a lot. No more obsidian has freed up a lot of inventory space, so that's that's nice. Less switching and stuff. For the same effectiveness on melee, but stronger on range, so. Let's do it. So adding voids to my gear setup is definitely adding another layer of complexity and nuance to my PVM overall. So there's a lot of stuff I gotta figure out now, such as when to use what. And it's been pretty fun. But some obvious glaring things I've noticed is that, for example, at Versic, I'm not using Void on the boss because she just cannot be lowered defensively. So she's still pretty damn tanky. So Crystal Armor still reigns supreme. But in pretty much every other room at TOB, I can basically use Void and Crystal Armor interchangeably with a Crystal Bow. But when it comes to Dark Bowing though and Blow Piping, uh, Void is the key to that because those extra max hits it's so good so definitely want to keep using those on things that have no defense or have been lower to almost no defense mm, even on this phase I'm, I'm pretty inaccurate with void yeah this phase is it's kind of inaccurate man a lot of zeros mm. Yeah, I don't think Void's worth it on, on this phase. Nice. I just used the blowpipe drag to dodge the blood spawn. That was some uh, that was some pretty impressive timing, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to give myself some credit there. Nilo boss is a perfect example of how disgusting the blowpipe, especially with Void, is. Cause it just got like no defense for the most part. Never misses. Oh! Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, the juke. Oh wait, purple! Yay! Not mine, but hey, somebody got a purple. And it ain't me. Holy shit, the fender hill. 8600? Ooh, 4844. Oh my god. Oh, a scythe. Okay. Damn, that's my second scythe I've seen. Oh, what's that? 47, 46? 48, 36? 47... Oh, That was a good string of debos, though. Ooh, that was some... Oh, 48, 48! We did it! Let's go! That was awesome, dude. Oh my god, we actually did it. On a super sick blowpipe switch, too. Oh my god. Dude, oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah, ah, goddamn. It's too strong. The TOB grind will take a long time to finish, even with these boosted rates, just because they are 20 minutes of run, and it's pretty considerable time. I want to get all the drops because they're all good points, and most of the drops will help me in future PVMing. But I don't want to spend all my time at TOB all day, so we're going to work on a bunch of other stuff too. So Cerberus is something I want to hit up as well because I can get soul runes from Cerberus for the spec pool. And also, I can get some nice upgrades, the Primordial Crystal mainly, to upgrade my boots to Primordial Boots from Dragon. Cerberus should be a pretty easy grind, especially with Recall Relic being so busted, I can skip Ghosts with it. And the Prim Crystal is only like 1 in 133, so even if I go dry, it's probably still going to be pretty fast. Mm, I missed a bit there. Oh, nice. I finished the task. Cool. Oh shit, 96 Slayer? Don't you? I'm gonna skip this, I think. Damn, that blowpipe set was nice. I hit like a 43. So I found the best spot that you should teleport from if you're ranging or maging Cerberus, and that's pretty much at the edge of the entrance because there's very low chance that Cerberus will be close to you. From there, so that way, when you uh, teleport in after the ghost, he will most likely gur. You'll have so much time to dodge the lava pools, it's so easy. So I bring all three ranged weapons and crystal armor and void just for the overkill. So crystal armor goes with the crystal bow as my primary DPS weapon. For the void, I pair that with the blowpipe and the dark bow. So the blowpipe is just for healing, it's really good at healing. Just constantly like 4 HP if I unload the specs. Because uh, it hits 40s and stuff. And the Debo just goes ham with the Void as well, of course, for the special attacks. Because I have a... Oh, 10,000 XP drop. 48, 48. 
Yes, dude. I did it again, boys. We did it again. The 4048. Oh, sir, soul runes. First soul runes. Hell yeah, dude. This is what, what happens. Complain about not getting soul runes. And you get soul runes. First one, boys. Let's go. If I can get a thousand soul runes before I have to head up the Sepulchre or kill some Necrals, greater Necrals, then... I'm good, man. What's gonna happen first, guys? Prims or a thousand soul runes? 97 Slayer. Jesus. Cerberus be feeding me the XP, man. God damn. <laughs> I'm gonna be 99 Slayer looking for these Prim Boots. Oh, Vagation Troll Crystal! Oh, Pagation Crystal, bruh. God damn, dude. We got Pagations, dude. TOB's got me sorted on farming, pretty much. Yew trees, magic trees, mahogany's. Like, it's it's over, man. 25 million farm XP coming right up. Double blowpipe in unison. Oh, I can't be stopped. We can't be stopped. <laughs> I love that. Double machine gun. We got a melee guy with blasts, and he is basically just booming every melee guy next to each other. Alright, put on... Oh god, oh, what are you doing? How... That's not even fair! What the f... Holy shit, I survived that, that was insane. Uh, dude, how do you get all the drops, man? Yo, leg guards, okay. Alright, man. That's what we need. <clears throat> Here we go for number 40. Come on, 40. <laughs> number 40. Damn. Son, 40 without a drop. Okay. Oh, that's a 48, 48. Yep. Oh, that's amazing. I love that shit. I love that shit. Going forward with this series, a lot of time is going to be spent gathering points to get to Dragon Rank and also to maintain it because I want to keep the tradition of being in the dragon rank top one percent point wise for leaks so to start off we're going to be doing some herbivore there is probably a thousand plus points in this content alone there is the kc milestones which there's three of them there's also 25 million hunter xp that i can get off of this and also i can get a lot of herbs so i don't actually have to go and like do farming and stuff for my herbs because this will give me a lot I'm gonna really want those for the future. Yeah, this is really nice. It's really easy. Oh, wait, what? Wow, that was easy. Holy shit, on my second ever herbivore, I finished the uh, torso task. Three tasks just catching up to 500 times. Like, wow. All right, 100. Yeah, nice. 400 more to go. I think it's gonna take like eight hours to uh, get the last 400 so try to split it up within the next two to three days probably yo 565 south of franken castle oh i see it, i see it oh my god it's right there oh i see it all right i'm gonna bare hand this guy because uh, that is a task baby come here don't don't go into the river please please rune crossbow for the meme Ay! oh god dang it all right come come back come back Oh, here it is. He thinks he's escaped. But I never quit. Mama raised no quitter. Especially in the rice fields. Oh, not a rune crossbow. But that is 250 points. Holy shit, this thing can speak. There it is, 99 Hunter. Hell yeah, first non-combat 99. Look at us taking the dragon rank grind pretty seriously. So I realized that there's actually a task where you have to complete 200 Slayer tasks. I was thinking, why not AFK some more spiders? Yes. And uh, edit some videos. And get some free points along the way to the 200. Because I can get myself an Earth Sack, which will make the rest of my Herbivore a little bit faster. I prefer this spot over the one over here. Because there's a lot of people here. This one is, I think, better. Damn, I did not realize I already got 90 attack. Oh wow, four tasks ago. Jesus. When I last checked, it said 600k experience left. Holy shit. 
Damn, how many 99s is that today? Okay. Alright, I don't think I need to buy anything else from Slayer anymore, so that leaves us with 85 more tasks to do for Alright, so the difference between having an herb sack and not having an herb sack seems to be in this league about 500,000 uh, experience. So it's not, that's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty sizable increase. So we're, we're definitely gonna be getting the rest of these herbs done by what seems to be about like, yeah, 20% faster or something like that. It's really, it's a pretty, pretty nice investment, I'd say. Oh, nice. There we go. 250 herb done. Ah, I see. They updated this uh, to have an open option. So it just auto goes into the bag now. Let's put away these fossils. That's good. This is good for the kudos later on. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.